this quick video, we're going to review equations of lines. Remember, there's two different formats. One is the slope y-intercept format, which looks like y equals mx plus b. Of course, the m is the slope and the b is the y-intercept. Alternately, we also have the point-slope format for the equation of a line. y equals m times x minus x naught plus y naught. Again, m is the slope and x naught comma y naught is a point on the line. Now, in terms of calculus material, we're usually given a function and we pick a point, let's just say x equals 1. In calculus, we use the derivative in order to find the slope of the tangent line. Now, let's just say that I did all that work already and I just got that the slope of this line is 3 halves. I could have used the limit definition of derivative or I could have used the shorthand rules but in any case, I obtained a slope of 3 halves. Now, how do I find the equation of the tangent line? I already have the slope, that's 3 halves. I also need a point on the line, x naught, y naught. I'm pretty close, I have the x value for this point of contact here, and I just need the y value. So I'm gonna take my x equals 1 and plug it into the original function in order to get the height of the point of contact here. Let's just say that I did that in my problem and I got the point of contact is 1 comma 6. Now that I have the slope and a point on the line, I can find the equation of the line. I'm going to use the point slope format, putting my slope here and the 1 comma 6 into the x naught y naught positions. So the point slope format is great when you're talking about tangent lines because of course the slope you'll be getting from the derivative calculation and the x naught y naught, you can just plop in the formula here, 1 1, 6, do a little simplifying, and you'll get the y equals mx plus b format for the tangent line.